Hey everybody, it's me again, and now we're going to be building the Chainsaw Arm to the Evil Dead series and uh, round out since we just did the Necronomicon. So what I did is I went out and I picked up the $44 uh, Chainsaw at Spirit of Halloween. Uh, normally it comes, has the handle in the back, has this piece up top, and uh, basically just take it apart. First thing you're going to want to do is unscrew and pull the batteries out of the bottom pack. That way you don't accidentally turn the thing on. We want to preserve the button and all the electronics, so that way this will still move. It would be a nice effect for a party or whatever. Uh, con, maybe, if they're not super strict about the moving parts or the plastic, it's totally dependent on where you wear it. But uh, for my purposes, it'll just be a nice little add-on. So you gut the whole thing. Um, you take the handle out. We're going to keep this, because that's actually going to be pretty useful in moving it. And then uh, the electronics. Taking this whole piece apart is kind of an issue, so I recommend painting it by taping it off and just leaving this assembled. Uh, it'll make your life easier. This piece we can disassemble and paint as we need. We're going to keep this housing. This is pretty close to what... Uh, this is this is not too far off from what uh, the one in the movie looks like. So when we add this back on, what we're going to do is we're going to add the ribbed part onto this, paint this. It'll look just fine. Put the speaker back in. We're going to lose the toggle completely, which normally goes here. And we're going to replace it with a wooden toggle so that we can pull it and make that more accurate. We're going to cut the back away so that we can get in there and put our hand in and add all those necessary parts. We're going to remount the button on the inside, but we're going to keep the button housing. So that way it sits nice and pretty. And it's going to come out pretty good. So the next step will be when you set yourself up, get your reference photos. And then you got to get to work. So now that we have taken it all apart, we're going to put it together. The hardest part I thought was going to be reattaching that handle here, but I noticed this little circle. So when I ripped it apart, lo and behold, there's an actual housing for it in there, which means this is actually a repainted, retooled version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre toy, which is great because this handle will fit right in there. So once I Dremel out that hole, I can slide the handle right in and that problem is solved. So all I have to do is find another handle to put up top. All right, so this is the progress we have so far with the shoe polish. Um, we also throw a little bit of spray paint or, you know, acrylic paint or whatever on there. We're just trying to gunk it up, basically, so. Um, you, know, you get some good gunk and whatnot on there. Some, You know, you do some fingerprints and things like that. It'll make it have some texture and whatnot, so. Uh, still functional, of course. Not too bad. Um, the big takeaway is that if you spray paint this silver and you really gunk the crap out of it, you can actually bring in some of the original paint from underneath, which will really give it a, a nice stain look. Um, in addition, you'll see that for the handle, we've put in a, a rubber tube in here, which I just sort of threw in. And then we got a, a four inch clamp I cut the plastic on the inside or the uh, rubber on the inside down and reduced it a little bit in size and it simply just slips on over this. So once you get this on, you can kind of just seamlessly put your hand in and out of it. You know, it's not a major endeavor. It doesn't have to be like the most perfect thing ever. But now you've got your thing for your hand. This is not a gas cap, this is actually a piece of jump rope that I slammed through the middle of this. And that looks like a gas cap, but it's actually the handle on the inside. So that way when I put it on, you get a nice effect. And then uh, the next I have to add the actual top handle, which is becoming a pain in the ass. I have to add some drips. Um, there's a wash that you can use if you're into um, model making and things like that. There's like a an, an armor stain wash that'll go and drip all over the thing, give it kind of like a drippy grease look, and then it has to be covered in blood. And then I also, lastly, will go in and rub and buff out the corners and things like that to get some silver on there and dry brush that in. So it will be very, very decent considering what it is. So, mostly weathered, uh, just missing the top handle. I just don't know when the hell I'm going to build one. So I'll get to it. Um, if you look, we've got a lot of grunging. Obviously, the speaker is exposed. I have a cap. Uh, it's the cap that came with it. I 
got to add, you know, I can leave it there, but it's ugly. I'm probably just going to build one. Um, and I got to add the, the pull cord. Uh, the handle is still adjustable. I haven't locked it in place, but it's good. You can see the front, a little bit of work top. Seeing it from the side, it's got a pretty good look to it. Uh, didn't want to go like over the kill, over the top with the blood, but for the most part I figure this is the side that's going to get shot the most, so this is the side that has more blood. Um, it still works. So I figure that's about as done as this is going to get until I add the top piece on it, but considering it was a pre-existing chainsaw, all it really did was get a little teeny bit of work. I pulled this handle out of here and drilled a hole and put it here, added the back piece. All things considered, it's pretty decent considering it's mostly just a repaint. So you can pick it up at uh, Spirit Halloween, and that's what I used, and then just rewired it.